six weeks ago. I was hopeful but skeptical of this experiment, and now I'm a full-on believer. I'm beyond elated. I mean, that's it. I'm off the market, baby. <laughs> the fact that Cameron and I found each other without ever even seeing each other, it's like what we saw was each other's soul. I guess I believe in true love now. Welcome back. I'm still here with Lauren and Cameron of Love is Blind. You two, truly couple goals. Also fashion goals. Oh, How are you doing? thank you. This is so amazing. I mean, oh, for man. fans of the show, you're newlyweds. Right. But you've actually been married for a year, year and a half. A year and a half, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, how has the last year and a half been? What's been the biggest change? Oh, man, it's been amazing. Just yeah. really learning how to blend lives. You know, it's like we did it backwards. We got married, and then we started dating. So every day is an adventure, I mean. Yeah, and it was sort of quiet, obviously. Yeah. We had all this, you know, camera and whatnot following us around, and then we're just building our, our daily lives with each other and mm -hmm. figuring out, you know, how to grow and, and yeah. evolve from that. When I found out you two were still together after a year and a half, uh, I was so happy. Like, oh, yeah. yes, yes. I mean, what's been the biggest thing you've learned about the other person in the last part of the marriage so far? Yeah, um, for me, I learned that Cameron is just really patient. He's one of those type of guys that really pay attention to detail. Um, he just wants to see me win. He's like there to be my soundboard no matter what it is. So I'm really grateful for him. Yeah, and... and I mean, there's been so many things, but I think the biggest is that I have just been reassured that Lauren is going to be there for me um, through, you know, the ups and downs, and that, you know, she she as well is very patient. I mean, like any married couple, we've had to, you know, work on things. You haven't used her toothbrush, have you? Oh. Well, not that she knows. <laughs> Heck, you know, girl. You have to use not that, what? I'm gonna put a little <laughs> camera in there now. Let me find out. <laughs> Whose place did you end up moving into? Um, his, okay. for sure, because mine was right. like a little tiny apartment. Um, yeah. But I, I kept it for a little while, and then eventually it was like, I'm done. I'm but she's all the decorated way. it now, and so it's it's definitely our home. It's, yeah. She put her touch on it, and <laughs> it's yeah. not a, like a barren bachelor pad. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously it really worked out for you, too. But yeah. I imagine signing up for the show. It's this crazy premise. I can't believe I'm going to do this taking off time at work. Right. I mean, what was it like taking off? Did that affect your jobs or anything? Mm -hmm. Luckily, my employer was, I think he saw how important this opportunity was to me. And even, because I thought it was just gonna be like a two week, you know, fun <laughs> little mm -hmm. adventure. And then I met Lauren and then I was like, man, I'm in it for the long haul now. So I had to take off even more time. But uh, I think, and it's probably clear to other people like, it just changed my whole, like, I'm just so much more happy after that. So mm -hmm. I think it was clear that this was a needed thing for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, I mean, luckily I have my own business, I have a media business, so it's pretty client-based. So I was able to kind of move around and fit the clients in where I could once we got back to the real world. So it was good, yeah. And then getting back into the real world, because mm -hmm. when you're in the pods right. and, you know, living this life, you don't have your phones, no social media. Yeah. It's kind of a different alternate yeah. reality. Oh, right. So sure. what was the biggest obstacle then getting into the real world and introducing all Ooh. those things again? Yeah, um, for me, it was really just kind of starting to share space again. Mm -hmm. I mean, just because previous to this I was kind of a hermit you know I like my own space <laughs> right uh, you know I'm 30 something years old I'm set in my ways um, so for me it was kind of tough like living with someone sharing a space yeah. sharing food in the refrigerator I mean like <laughs> little things like that and so that was kind of tough yeah it was and we had to strike that balance between affection and giving space you know and and making sure both of us were happy with that and mm -hmm. now we've got all of this you know, buzz and so kind of a new challenge is limiting the time that we spend on social media mm -hmm. and just engaging with that in general. So it's not easy, certainly. Yeah. Especially now that you guys have so many followers. Oh, like I all know. All the fans crazy. in the world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's revisit some <laughs> moments from Love is Blind, this fascinating Netflix experiment. So let's start with the time you first said, I love you, after okay. only three <laughs> days, I think. Uh, pretty soon. <laughs> Cameron. Yes. I think I love you. I love you. <laughs> wow. I love you. I love you. Did we just say that? Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> it makes me tear up. How many days was it? 
Man, it's it hard to remember at this point. It was yeah, very it soon. Was, it was under definitely week. soon. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was it very, was very soon. Yeah, for sure. What is the main thing you remember from that moment? Oh, I just remember feeling hot and sweaty, like, <laughs> oh, what's happening? But just, like, I can't fight this anymore. Like, yeah. this is how I feel. Like, I want to let him know. And he said it back so fast. And right. I was like, oh, snap, yeah. we're really in this. Like, we were. And yeah. it, it was, like, a situation where... You know, my rational side, rationally, I thought, like, this can't be the case, but kind of just letting go and, and not fighting those feelings, I think that was the key, like, being vulnerable mm -hmm. enough to embrace what we were feeling. Yeah, like and I this said is, jumping out the plane. <laughs> this is before you even saw each other. Yeah. And then you had that moment where the doors open up, you see each other for the first time. Uh, yeah. Oh, made me so nervous. Uh, All the couples. Me so, too. <laughs> yeah, in that moment, what was the first thing you thought when you saw the other person? I was like, ooh, wee, he is <laughs> sexy. <laughs> but um, honestly, like, I was just like, he's so handsome. He mm -hmm. looks like Prince Charming. Like, that was the first thing I thought about. Like, this is like my fairy tale. I feel like this is like a storybook right now, you know? Yeah. I mean, she is and was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. And <laughs> I was just completely blown away. I, I, I like didn't know if I could even believe it, you know. Yeah, and so obviously the physical attraction was there. So yeah, you for other. sure. If you didn't have that, do you think you could have tried to still cultivate a relationship? Or? Yeah, I, I think, think so. so because I feel like I connected with Cameron on a level that was so much deeper than what he looked like by that point. Like we cried on the second date, okay? Like it's <laughs> something there, I gotta at least try. And yeah. I feel like even attract, attraction is something that can grow. So I would have definitely so like- too. You know, March physical, forward. yeah, the physical component of a relationship, I mean, we can't say that's not important. It is. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but like Lauren said, I think it can grow over time, when, especially when you have a foundation in the emotional portion. Yeah, now Lauren, we saw in your confessionals, you said that you had never dated a white man before, mm -hmm. but it was clear Cameron took any doubts you had away. <laughs> yes, so let's rewatch this honest confessional. At the end of the day, I feel like I can still want the best for black people. I can still want black people to win. I could still voice my opinions about how black people are treated in this country and still love who I love. Yeah, so I think that's so beautiful. Yeah. And have you found any issues or any feedback with being an interracial couple now? Absolutely not. I mean, it's actually all been super positive. Like, people are so happy and inspired that... A, I stayed true to myself and how I felt, and you know, I want to fight for the rights of black people, and it doesn't matter uh, who I love, and people just really appreciate that, because they're like, you know what, you're right, and you guys are yeah. so in love, and it's so beautiful, so I love that our story and our love is inspiring so many other people to really feel that same way, and it's just, it's great. Yeah, it's great. and loved meeting your families oh, on the right. show. Yeah. They're yeah. so wonderful. Absolutely. I want to rewatch the moment. Lauren's dad basically uh -oh. <laughs> gave his blessing <laughs> to you one. both. Watch. I guess it's simple and the shortcut to say you're a white guy, she's a black woman. I'm not 100% with this. I'm from a whole nother generation. We didn't pick a wife like this. Yeah. <laughs> but she loves you, so I like you. That's a start. Yeah, well, I want to work so that you do love me eventually. Oh, Cameron, how nervous uh. were you talking to her dad after she left you alone? You know, I wasn't really that nervous because my intentions were good. I knew that I wanted to marry her. I was gonna work on it, so I felt like, even if he didn't like me in that initial meeting, or you know, I had more to work on, that we we could make it work eventually. Now, I think it's very clear how important Lauren's dad is to Lauren, so I think any nervousness that I may have had was just because I wanted to make sure Lauren felt good about how the interaction went. But, you know, all the questions that her dad asked were totally fair game. And if I was her father, I would have done the same thing. Especially with the show that you're meeting. Oh, like yeah, yeah, no, like meeting a stranger. Situation. No, it's not. Through a wall. Yeah, how is it's the really relationship not. with the families now? It's oh, great. It's great. Yeah. I mean, my dad comes over every weekend. I visited Maine multiple times. Mm -hmm. I went there for Christmas. We all had Thanksgiving together. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're one big happy family now, blended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had Thanksgiving at our house. So we had my family from Maine and her family from Detroit Yeah, come, fly in. And it was and, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what was on the table? What were you guys eating? Oh, so girl, much. everything. <laughs> Turkey, macaroni and cheese, greens, uh, 
literally everything. Yeah. Too much. Oh, too much. Yeah. And it's crazy because you had to keep that all a secret. I was yeah. just about to say, we couldn't even share any of that. Yeah. So I just like posted my food. Like, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, we saw on the show that you were kind of nervous about committing to a man forever yeah. that you right. just met weeks before, which yeah. understandably so. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people would have of some course. concerns. Right, yeah. Um, but you always came across so poised in your interviews. So how did you deal with those emotions off camera? Whew, um, pray, honestly, mm -hmm. um, really, I even communicated with Cameron, like, you know, I'm struggling with this right now, this is fast, this is a lot, I talked to my parents, um, and like I said, I'm kind of a hermit, so I feel like when I have things that are heavy on me like that, like, I like to spend time alone, think it out, journal and stuff like that, so that helped me, uh, wine was also my friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was wine in yes. that pod. Yes. There was, so, there was. Yeah. You seemed more certain, so did you I have did. doubts, or... Not really, uh, and even now I'm like, what doubts did I have? I, I don't really think I had any, and, and it was kind of alarming to everyone. I know everyone's like, how could you not have any doubts? This is all so fast and everything like that. But every day I kind of like went through my mind, like, should I be skeptical? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I, I kind of wish I could tell you I had some doubts, but. Me too, because I was like, he's not afraid. Every every day I would ask him, like, you sure you're not scared? <laughs> right. Like, no, it's whatever. I was like, he is so confident, but that made me have even more confidence. Like, okay, yeah. well. And, and we, we went through so many conversations. Of course, there's not enough time on the show mm -hmm. to show everything that we talked about, but we talked about, like, literally everything, you know, finances, how we want to raise our kids, spirituality, you know, um, sex. I, I don't, that's yeah. a weird one to stop on, but sorry, my imagination. You know. No, I totally get it. You guys had a lot of time to discuss everything. Yeah. Right. What was the thing that finally convinced you to say I do? Um, you know what? Just realizing, like, I deserve to be happy. Like, why am I fighting this? I feel like I had so many disappointments in the past that I was scared to let myself be happy because mm -hmm. I was afraid that it would fail. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I'm not limiting myself anymore. Like, this is it. I'm not losing out on this great man. And I was just like, I'm going to do this. Yeah. yeah. And I hear you're starting a YouTube channel. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. So what we can are. fans expect? Oh, man, just to peek into our lives. I mean, Everything. our lives at home, our family, we're dog parents. Right. Um, so that, cooking, everything, just everything lifestyle. Yeah, we want to show a deeper glimpse into our family. I mean, we would have liked to have seen, for example, Lauren meeting my family on the show, um, but just our combined families, mm -hmm. what home life is like for us, and just kind of the adventures that we go on. Yeah, and there's plenty of them, so. <laughs> Very right. excited to follow yeah. along. Thank Absolutely. you both. Thank, Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank and everyone, you can catch the entire first season of Love is Blind on Netflix now, and the Love is Blind reunion special will drop on Netflix tomorrow, March 5th.